Hello everyone and welcome to Star Citizen Alpha 3.23. I decided to check it out as I do from time to time to see if I can get a game flow going, if I can get engaged by it yet, or whether it would still be frustrating. There have been many changes, including to the character creator. And so we'll see here, I decided to go with a male character this time. And well, it is visually very different. It's not the same mixing thing, though I think there is option to do the mixing that we had before. Uh, but there seem to be quite a lot of other options now, and I thought it was pretty nifty overall. It seems fairly well done, and I more or less ultimately got the character I was sort of looking for. For quite a long time I pined for ponytails, and there was in fact a ponytail, finally. So, uh, yes, I went with the ponytail, and I verified that it did not poke through the helmet <laughs> when we put on the helmet. Very important. It has a red tint there that can be changed uh, and obviously the color of the hair itself can be changed as well. I was inter interested in this facial recognition option. I do have a webcam, uh, though I don't use it for actually showing my face during videos. I do have a webcam that it can use for head tracking and potentially capturing my face, but I still don't know about that too much. So anyway, I decided to go with a character that more or less looked like this and saved it. I don't know if the saving thing will work or not. We'll see by the end of this video that there may be some issues with retaining the, the character identity. Uh, but yeah, I finalized that and we will move on. But that is a good new feature that they have added to this version. And I decided to play the tutorial, which I now regret, but uh, I mean, it was just extra time that I probably didn't need to s spend. It doesn't, it hasn't changed much and I didn't learn anything new, so. But anyway, I woke up and started a tutorial and it didn't take long to load. It took less time than in previous versions, though I do have it on a fairly fast SSD now, so that might have been an, an effect. But the Moby Glass has changed its look and the map looks wonderful. Uh, I love this map. Uh, I have recently been playing Starfield and that map, even though they supposedly improved it, could do with improvement outside of New Atlantis. Uh, but yeah, this has very thorough information about places. You can pin locations and enter a marker name, so that's good. And um, We'll see the galaxy map version or system map version later on. I pick up the drink as and food as requested by the tutorial, and I'm supposed to look at this map. But here's a bad thing. I was shocked. This map doesn't have a you are here marker anywhere. Uh, it took a little while for it to get unfuzzy, but there's no you are here. You don't know where you are. So it's not as use useful a map. If they're going to intentionally tell me to look at it, uh, it should give me where I am. Uh, but fortunately there was a little yellow marker to follow so we didn't have to worry about that. As far as the map in our Moby Glass is concerned, it showed a clothing shop but it didn't give the name in. Uh, with the mission, it told us the name of the shop but not that it was a clothing shop. So, yeah. Uh, a little bit of a mismatch there if we were try to try to navigate with just the map in the Moby Glass. So, I ultimately did all that stuff and on to the spaceport. Uh, the metro was fairly smooth, there weren't any glitchy things happening this time. So that's good. And ultimately we got off at the station, I went to get my ship, and this person was here. <laughs> um, yeah, that was interesting. I got a laugh out of that. I mean, a part of this is just, we, we get to have some laughs with some of these things happening, and this one was especially good. Oh, that too, yeah. Uh, this always happens still. Don't know if they can solve that. Is there an intention to it? It, it was really only in this place. That that was the only... Uh, yeah, it, it's just right here that we have these issues. But yeah, here they are. Uh, and inevitably this is going to be one of the first locations where people are going to enter the game. So... <laughs> All right. A next thing, and this is a bad thing, is this menu. They have not improved this menu, and it is a pain in the rear end. Uh, it is a pain because 
the joystick setting access settings are in one place and then the inversion settings are in a different place. In the graphics settings, when you drop down the graphics menus, some of them, when you say low, medium, high, very high, overlap the next setting so that when you try to click high, it clicks the other setting instead. And so you can't click the thing properly. And they need to change this. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. Well, so well, that would be my big request. Change that. Anyway, after I got through the tutorial, it didn't tell me that the tutorial had ended. That's something that could be very easily improved upon. But I finished the tutorial and got my Avenger Titan, and we are off trying to get regular missions now, and we're no longer in the, the tutorial anymore. So, yeah, but the menu, it, the settings menu is like my number one thing that I want to see improved right now. I don't even care about our star system. Please help us with the menu. It's always frustrating. Closing the doors and accessing the pilot seat. In this case, it went all right. But I had some issues with it this time that I didn't have before. Previously, it was a really big tag to close the door or uh, enter the pilot seat. And here, even though it highlights the seat or the door, it doesn't always do the action when I click on it. It seems to want me to hover over the little box instead and that doesn't work out very well because sometimes the box isn't even there. So I will see an example of this later on. Okay, so I look at the missions and the mission dialogue is much better. This is much better looking. Uh, so research assistance and we have to pick up a probe. So I decided to try this one because I'm all into science. It's not necessarily the most lucrative thing but I wanted I want to eventually try all the things. So this one is the sciencey one, so I decided to go with it first. And we will science the heck out of it, if you will. So on we go, and the way we activate quantum jump is a little bit different. It used to be that we would just hold down B, but now once we're in nav mode by holding down B, we click the left click button, the left mouse button, and then activate the jump. It doesn't always seem to do it right, but, but I think I just need to be very firm about it or something. But yeah, so there's a change in the way we use the B key. Now with uh, holding it down cycles between the nav mode and the fighting mode, combat mode if you will. Um, and then we just left click. I need to assign a different button to doing the quantum jump. I don't like using the left mouse button. I want like a big red button or something. Anyway, uh, that's just me maybe. But so I land at this station and I need to pick up the probe. And initially I wasn't entirely sure whether the probe was actually hanging out outside or in a place inside. So I did a little EVA, but it is inside. So this is the second landing actually. And here, here's the door issue. I'm, I'm actually using interact mode right now and trying to get it to highlight. And it sure wasn't. And even when I did get to highlight, like there, and I clicked on it, it didn't do the thing. And you can't see the box saying close the door. So I feel like that's probably suboptimal. I would like, I bet, yeah, I mean, it, maybe I should use the interaction wheel, the right click. But that's a little bit different, let's just say that way. Uh, I think maybe the interaction wheel with right click might have solved that issue. But Anyway, initially I didn't know where the heck in the station to go to. I probably should have just checked the map map and checked the different floors. But I tried the refinery first and it's not the refinery, it's actually the Galleria. So, Galleria. And actually I should have known this because I previously had a mission where I had to pick up a package at this kind of station right here as well but it wasn't a probe so I didn't necessarily expect that this would also be where you pick up probes uh, <laughs> this is a little bit weird there's a probe yep okay that's where you pick up a scanner probe too not just the cargo packages of other kinds and now we are slowly walking but I do eventually remember that you can use the scroll wheel to increase your walking speed and so I do. So after I do that, we are walking in a much nicer pace. Uh, they do have nice helpful hints in the bottom right hand corner as far as what kind of buttons you might be wanting to press. So that's nice. I think that is helpful. And here we are. Uh, it was a weird sound coming from here and I guess coming from my ship. I guess that means, you know, the 
engines are still running and everything, but yeah, I, I don't know about that sound. But I tried to place this. Placing doesn't work. I guess that's only in the receptacle. I just dropped it and closed up the door this time. The closing worked. Well, okay, not like I don't know if it worked like that or whether I had to hover over it again. But anyway, it ultimately worked somehow. And off we go. So we have to go back, and we're going back to Hurston and into Ariel, the moon. But Hurston, the planet textures didn't look all that great. Like right here. I didn't quite like the look of it. <laughs> Maybe it's just that the the areas are too discreet. They don't seem to blend in the way biomes normally do. So I wondered about that. This is the system map, and so. I'm setting a route there. Obviously, this looks much better. It's got a search field even, which is great. And um, yeah, no promise of that and thankful for it because the old map was horrible. Uh, so yes, that is a major quality of life improvement. So we are trying to get closer to the probe location, deployment location, and we're supposed to just plop it into space right there. So I get close with the Avenger Titan and then out to EVA, I guess. I don't know if there's a better way to deploy a probe. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe I should have a probe shooter. But okay, I EVA out and I head to the marker. And this is one of the problems that we're about to see. And that's that I have trouble actually deploying the probe. Now I've previously seen an activate option, but it didn't give me that. I tried place, I tried drop, drop, let go of it, but then it came back to me immediately. I didn't try to interact with it right there. It would just zoom back to me, which is fine. Maybe it's not in the right place. Maybe you have to get closer, but having something be this picky is a little bit iffy, you know, you'd want a tolerance of like a hundred meters at least. But okay, so I try again, place. Just in case place works, I tried drop. No luck. All this time I'm getting very thirsty. I mean, I backed away, tried to back away from it and it still zoomed back at me. So, no good. So, I keep trying. What else can I do? I've got this probe and I need to fulfill the mission. And ultimately, it's uh, I right click and suddenly it went away without the interaction wheel. So, okay. But then I decided to try and activate it. But then I couldn't click the activation button, and it came back. So uh, I right-clicked, and it went away. And then there it decided to deploy the probe, but the probe still came back. It's like a little puppy or something. It just just doesn't want to leave me. So, yeah. I ended up still having the probe, <laughs> and I couldn't get rid of it. Uh, it's still here. Uh, so, okay, I, I tried to drop it in my ship. Place doesn't work. Um, but that didn't work either. I couldn't even drop it now. So I entered the pilot seat. When I entered the pilot seat, it dropped. So that was good, and that gave me hope. But I decided to try out what would happen if I got out of the pilot seat, of course. And when I got out of the pod seat, it zoomed back into my arms. And now when I sat down, it was still there in front of me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely not letting go. So uh, here I was trying to get my landing spot at Lorville. I, I decided that that would be the best place to get a drink because I really needed a drink desperately. You can see in the bottom uh, left hand corner. The problem was I couldn't really see the icon for my landing spot very well. I, it was just I was just missing it for a while until I finally found it. It was just really hard to see. All the icons are really small. And the most essential one doesn't really stand out as much as everything else, especially since that hangar uh, icon or indicator is sort of the same color as my HUD. It doesn't stand out as much as the red stuff or, you know, more brightly colored options. I, as usual, will try to land manually. This time I cheated though, I decided to be in external view, but there was another ship there. <laughs> you can see it's sort of blocking my way. It's sort of nice doing this in external view. Anyway, 
Okay, we sit down. I've still got the probe. I'm looking for a drink. That poster is not being rendered properly, so that's interesting. I have an RTX 4070 with 12 gigs of VRAM, so, you know, like, um, should, should get all the stuff. They're still there. Those guys are still there. Okay, I would have liked to get something from a vending machine, but that wasn't an option. And so there was no drink there. I decided to go on the train to find some place that might be able to sell me a drink. Um, but things are looking quite dire and I'm being quite hazy and I get off at the wrong stop. This ended up being the business center. I was trying to go to the central station where I thought there would be something to drink, stands to reason, but I ended up in this district with these statues and these stairs that seemed like they weren't going to lead me to anything to drink. So I ended up trying to take the train again. So back down the stairs. But I decided to check my inventory because I was close to dying and I still had the drink from the tutorial that you pick up. So I tried to equip it, right? Or yeah, that's the only thing you can do, but the probe in my hand, you see, it didn't let me equip it. I, I tried to drag it. Yeah, I'm trying, right? Can I try and drag it? Drag it. Yeah. Drag it to my hand. No luck. Drag it to the little hand icon down there in an awkward place. No luck. So, yeah. Well, I didn't want to drop it. But, yeah. So I died. <laughs> I died from lack of liquids due to, I think, this darn probe. And I fell through the floor for some reason. Dying makes you do that. And I had to decide to respawn, basically. And on the bright side, respawning did finally get rid of the probe. So there's that. That's that's the good side of respawning. There are, however, bad sides to respawning. In particular, my skin color was different. My facial structure was sort of the same here, but my skin color was different. And then when I left the hospital, everything changed. Actually, I still have a ponytail. But my facial structure suddenly changed after leaving the hospital. And I guess I, this is the default character or something, I guess. So, but I did still have the ponytail. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's, that's a downside. So, recapping, map is good. Uh, the character creator is good, but we don't seem to be able to retain our character. Um, uh, uh, maybe if I restart the game, it'd pop up. I haven't tried that out yet. Uh, the whole Moby Glass thing looks better, including where you get your contracts from. And then there's the bad stuff. The, the settings menu is not great. There are still a few glitches like this. And I did like the fact that I did die because I was thirsty. Uh, that's good, you know, that's, that's a feature. That's a feature. So, yeah. No, there have been improvements. We'll see how it goes. I will try it again. So with that, Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.